What's going on everyone? My name is Nick here at ClickUp and today I want to talk about implementing tags on the ClickUp platform. As many of you know, tags are a great way to filter and categorize your given workflow and it's a way that you can keep things structured, especially in the sense of filtering when you're looking for specific topics or categories of your given workflow. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive in how to implement them and then also how to get the most value out of them. So in order to start using tags in the ClickUp platform, we want to first off guarantee that we have them enabled. By coming to the top right hand side of the screen and clicking on the user profile icon, we're going to go down to the settings label and then cross over to the left hand side of the screen and click on click apps. And once we've done this, all we have to simply do is go down to the bottom here and see whether or not tags are enabled. And in this case, we can see that it's highlighted, enabled, and we can also see that it's on all six spaces. So we're good to go. So let's go ahead back here to list view and take a look at an example task. In this case, we're going to take a look here at the task mobile UX. And as we can see next to the task name, we see an icon for editing tags. And this is where we're going to input tags inside our given task. So by clicking on this icon, we already have a list of the tags that we've created. And we can also type in new ones as well or search it if our list is very long. In this case, we only have three so far. Well, in this case, I'm looking at the three tags I have, content, advertising, and design. Which out of the three really fits this one? Well, I would say that design works in this case. You know, we're, we're talking about mobile UX, we're talking about user experience on our mobile app. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and click design. Now, along with this, we can go ahead and add new ones or add multiple tags. In this case, if we wanted to keep on adding content and advertising, we could do that. But in this case, we're gonna add a new one. Let's label this under a tag called mobile. Once we press enter, we've created a new tag. But along with that, we get to choose what color we want for that given tag. So for example, we can make it green, we can make it kind of orange, or we could come here to a color picker and get a specific color. And then our tag will be that color, respectively. So we can have one or multiple different tags for a given task. And it's a great way to kind of categorize our given tasks into certain groups or focus points. And really, you know, kind of show it right here rather than having to go through the task view window. We can see it right here and scroll through our workflow. So tags can be very, very helpful. So seeing as we've gone through the process of creating a tag, let's go ahead and go through a few of the things you should know about how tags operate inside ClickUp. If we come down here to a tag inside a given task and hit the X button, it will remove the tag. And along with that, if we have a tag pulled up under a task, we can hit the ellipses icon next to its name and do a few different things. We can remove it from the given task. We can change the color of that given tag. We can rename the tag. And we can also permanently delete the tag. So if we come here and click to delete, this will delete the tag for the entire space. So you gotta make sure whether or not you wanna remove this, but it's a good thing to know whether or not if you can delete something inside the sense of tags in a given space, if you just wanna get rid of it for the entire space. Anyways, everyone, that's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I highly recommend that if you all are out there and you're wondering how you can use tags more effectively to check out our filtering by tags video where we talk about how we can use tags to our advantage in the sense of filtering our given workflow. Anyways, everyone, that's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Stay tuned.